back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm having a great day today as opposed to last week, y'all. I was sick, y'all. I had the crud. It was nasty. I was a mess. Y'all don't know what it was. It was like this sinusy thing. My whole house got sick. Me, my husband, and my kids were sick. Called out of work and everything, the whole shebang. They didn't even get to go trick-or-treating, y'all, but they didn't miss out on anything anyways. Who cares about Halloween? No, they weren't really feeling Halloween this year anyway, so they didn't really mind. But anyways, we were all sick. I'm better now, though. What was that? Though, I sound like I'm from Canada. Shout out to Canada. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm Janine. I do all types of videos. I do beauty, hair, reviews, tutorials, food. I'll do a little bit of everything, you guys. Also, to y'all that have been with me for a long time, I... Love you guys so much, and I'm so thankful for you guys and for your support. And if you guys did not know, the, the giveaway that I'm running is still going on. So if you guys are not subscribed, please do subscribe so you can see more of my videos and also so that you can be a part of that giveaway. Um, I will leave the link down below to Gleam so that you can enter. Into Sorry, y'all, I'm looking like a hot mess right now. I'm going to pop into this uh, Get Ready With Me slash full face using all new products. They may not be new, like in general, but they're new to me. Stuff that I've had for a while that I haven't touched yet. If y'all are like me and you collect lots of makeup and purchase lots of makeup, then you have accumulated so many things that sometimes you can't even try everything because you're still buying things. You haven't got the opportunity to try everything that you have or use everything you have. So that's what today is gonna be. I am going to be using the ColourPop My Little Pony palette. I've had this on my vanity for like three weeks already. I purchased it the day that it released and it's been here forever, y'all. Look how cute this thing is though. Very nostalgic, it reminds me of growing up in the 80s, y'all. This is the 80s style ponies. Also, I'm gonna be using the highlight that I was really interested. I wanted to get, ooh, dropping things, y'all. It's also the My Little Pony. Comes with a nice little mirror, and this is the highlight. It's this nice lilac. I believe that it's a duochrome, but we're gonna find out. I don't know yet, I don't remember, because like I said, this has been sitting here forever. I feel like I'm getting cut off, y'all. Like. Okay, this is better. Let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. It's five minutes into this and I haven't done anything. First, I'm gonna start off with moisturizing my face. I've had this product for a while and just took it out of the package. Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Moisturizer and it's refining and refreshing. So I'm gonna put that on because I just took a shower and washed my face and my face is really dry. It does have like a nice light scent to it. My nose hurts so bad. I don't usually have breakouts. If I do, it's like one or two here and there. But like my whole nose was full of these little tiny white pimples. And y'all, I can't just look at pimples on my face. I popped all of them. So now I have these little red spots. Can y'all see? And they hurt. Like I don't know what happened. God. Okay, so this feels nice. Now that I've got that done, my face feels so much better. Like. My face was thirsty, y'all. Woo! Suck that up real fast. I'm going to be using for a primer today the Kula Daydream Mineral Primer. It has SPF of 30, UVA and UVB protection in it. It says that it features a bouquet of iris, white lily, and honeysuckle plant stem cells. It is vegan and has some kind of plant cell system in it. This is really nice. It's a glass bottle, pretty heavy. It says farm to face. For active ingredients, it says there's zinc oxide 4.0% and titanium dioxide 2.3%. And it has a broad spectrum SPF of 30 and it's water resistant for 40 minutes. So there it is. Pretty thick formula. It's not runny or anything like that. I hope this doesn't cause flashback or anything. Wow, it's so soft. Oh my God. You guys, this is like silk on my face. This does not feel like a silicone. It's like velvet. Wow. You know when you get in bed right after you shave your legs and you move your legs around in the bed and it just feels so smooth and silky? That's what this feels like, but on your face. Like, wow. Um, I do see some tiny, tiny little 
particles, like minuscule pieces of glitter. It's, it's not a lot, but I do see like little specks. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm still, I still have the sniffles um, from being sick, so my bad. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I'm going to be using this in the color 3N1, which is buff. This is a nice glass bottle. You get one fluid ounce, which is standard for pretty much all foundations. I wanted to have a foundation that was lightweight but full coverage. That was what I was looking for. And I'm going to use the Bare Minerals foundation brush that I got in my BoxyCharm. I have not used that yet. I'm going to start off with two pumps. I'm going to see how this brush works because I've never used it before. So we're going to find out together. I don't know if you guys have used this before, but... So it is moving the product like you don't see any residual product here. I don't know how well two pumps is going to do for me, so I think I need more pumps. Oh my god, I feel like I have nothing on my face, like, so nice. I don't know about this brush though, y'all. I feel like I want to use my beauty blender, but I mean, can you guys see? What do you guys think? I do see some patches where, like here and here, like there's some missing areas. So I am going to go ahead and use my beauty blender. I feel like this did a much better job of covering all the areas that needed to be covered. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into my color corrector, which it is the Sephora brand, the Bright Future color corrector, and it is in the color medium, five. I have really dry under eyes, so I'm really finicky and picky about what I put under my eyes. Anything, any products that I put under my eyes. So let's try this out and see how it goes. Do you see how well that brightened my under eye? That looks really, really good. And it doesn't feel drying at all. It's not thick. It's a nice light formula. And it doesn't feel like it's dehydrating or dry in any way. I'm going to go ahead and blend out this other eye. Wow, I'm really happy already with how my face looks, y'all. So let's get to concealer. Okay, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer. And I have this in a Warm Ivory. I purchased this at Sephora. It is a little pricier. Um, I told the girl that I wanted something that was full coverage that would cover my under eye circle. I told her I really wanted to try the Tarte Shape Tape, but I was afraid to try it because a lot of people have said that it's very drying and I already have dry under eyes, so I don't want to put anything under my eyes that's going to make it look more drier and wrinklier and just not appealing. So this is how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into it. It doesn't look like a lot of product is coming out, but whoa, this is really, this is thick. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to go ham with uh, like how I usually do with my Maybelline Fit Me because it, this is really a thick formula. Um, I'm going to go easy. I don't want to, I don't want to use too much. Y'all know what I'm saying? This looks really good, you guys. This did a really good job. This is definitely full coverage, y'all. It is a thick formula, and it, it's taking me a little, a little bit longer to blend it out. 
I really have been loving the Maybelline Fit Me. It's so creamy and hydrating and I, I feel like I get really good coverage. And it does a really good job of covering my under eye circles. This formula here is not like that at all. This is a lot thicker. It's taken me a lot longer to blend this out because it is a thick formula. So if you guys can see, I think it did a really good job of covering and concealing my under eye circles. Y'all seen how I looked before. So for today's setting powder, I'm using something that is talked about and raved about on YouTube so much, but it is my first time using it. It is the Cody Airspun Translucent Setting Powder, and I have it in the Translucent Extra Coverage. I've heard a lot of good things about this Cody Airspun, and I've heard some negative things about it. So I've never used it before. This is my first time using it, so I'm going to find out for myself. Um, I don't like to bake under the eyes. I like to use a setting powder brush and um, do my eyes like that. Oh, so cute. Comes with this nice little puff and a little piece of plastic to cover it up here. So I've heard a lot of negative things about the smell and people saying that it smells like old ladies. And then some people say that this smells really good. So, woof. I definitely do get a baby perfume slash your grandma's purse perfume one of the elders from church smell um from here but it's not bad like i don't think it's bad <coughs> i think i went down my throat I can see that this concealer would not be every day for me because I don't have time to be sitting here and blending out concealer. It would be something that I would use for like special occasions. I've also heard that this setting powder creates flashback. So I'm going to have to check that and see. But since I am not using that much product, hopefully I won't have that problem. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera just because I don't have anything new for my eyebrows. And then I'll jump into the eyeshadow, okay? Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into this palette. It's super cute and show you guys again. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my Coastal Scents BR250 brush. It's become one of my favorites. Um, it's a nice little small fluffy brush. I love it for my transition color. It does a great job of blending and it does a great job of packing color on. So I'm just going to go ahead and touch this little color right here called Bluebell, which is like a nice pale. Ooh, there's some kickback for real. But there is definitely some pigment, so that is good. So you can see how well that went on. Okay, the next color that I'm going to go into is this like pinky, peachy color. It's called Applejack. And I'm going to use that. You guys see that? Look, I want to show you. You definitely get some kickback. So it's not terrible, but as long as these colors are pigmented, I don't really care. And they definitely are. I have lots of palettes, but this is my first one from ColourPop, and I was really excited to get my hands on it. And I have to say, so far, I'm pretty well pleased with these two colors. I've only put two colors on my lids, and they look really good. If you guys can see, this looks super good. It's blending out really nice. Um where I applied it and then this this brush is really good but these shadows are really really nice it does not look like what it looks like in the pan it looks more of an orangey peach in the pan on my lid it looks like a pinky peach if that makes any sense so now I'm gonna go ahead and tap into this color right here which is called sky dancer it's this nice like mauvey plum color looks promising this is how it looks on the brush by the way 
I'm just gonna tap that into my corner and it looks more of a fuchsia pink purple on my lid. So I'm gonna try to build this color up. Super pretty though. See, this is why I love this brush. I can use this brush pretty much for my whole eye look. This brush is so good and I think I paid like a dollar and change when it was on sale, Coastal Scents, y'all. So I will have to say this palette is the colors that are in the pan and the colors that come out on your eyes are definitely a lot different. When you place the color on your eyes, they are definitely a lot more muted than they are in the pan. They're still beautiful. They blend out really beautiful and there's a lot of pigment, but they are not the colors that you see in the pan. I will just tell you that. I'm gonna go back into that first color that I used for my transition and just pop that back above that pink color that I use just to um, intensify it a little better. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I want to try out this really pretty gold color right here. It's called Blossom. And I wanna put that on my lid. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer down first and then I'm gonna pack that color on. Whoa. So that is definitely a gold gold now what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is I want to deepen the corners a little bit I think I'm gonna use this nice blue color here called twilight working it like kind of packing it into my outer corner and then slightly bringing it into the middle and fading it out there's definitely some fallout here y'all this blue one I don't know how I feel about it because it's gonna make me look like I have some black eyes okay what I also went ahead and did is I went back into that mauve shade right here and I just applied a little bit over that blue color almost like making it into like this purple which I really like I'm a little confused by the color selection that they put in this palette they are all very pretty colors but I don't know if they blend well together or mesh well together I don't know maybe that's just me maybe I'm using the wrong colors together I, I don't know I don't know how this how I feel about this look it looks like a box of crayons on my lids but then again I'm not used to doing all this, so let me show y'all what I got so far. So I need to clean up under my eyes, and then I think I'm going to go ahead with eyeliner, do my inner corners and my brow highlight, and stop touching these damn lids, y'all, because I'm going to look like, I'm going to look like a My Little Pony in a minute, okay? <laughs> Maybe that's some point. Okay, so I've got my eyeliner and mascara on. I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and use the transition color that we started off with right here, just with the pointed brush. I actually am not too mad about how this has turned out. I thought it was going to be a big mess, just all these colors, but the eyeliner and the mascara actually tied it all well together. I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Those of you that have been here for a while, y'all know. I'm not too uh, adventurous when it comes to uh, <laughs> eyeshadows. I'm gonna deepen that color up with that plum color that I used earlier. That looks better. I'm gonna use this color right here. It's called Firefly. I'm gonna put that in my inner corners. Ooh, go ahead Firefly, do your thing. Ooh, yes. Yes, hunty. And then I'm going to use Bluebell, that lighter shade on the bottom for my up top highlight. Very sparkly. I like it. 
So for contour, I used my BH Cosmetics bronzer that I really, really love, um, which is not new, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a new blush and it is the Cargo Water Resistant Blush and it is in the color of Ibiza. So it comes in this little tin can like this and there is the color, it's so beautiful. I just want a flush of color on my cheeks. And that's really pretty. Super light, but very pretty. All right, y'all, now for the moment I've been waiting for. I don't know if y'all been waiting for it, but I want to try this ColourPop My Little Pony highlighter out, y'all. It's lavender. I think it's a duochrome. I'm not sure, but we about to find out together, y'all. We gonna see how it goes on, y'all. Is it showing up? I see it, but it's definitely lavender, y'all. Definitely lavender. It's so different. Can y'all see that? That lavender glow? Mm. It's definitely different. That is faux show. Sure. Might not be something you want to go into the office with, but just for fun. Depending on your skin tone, I could see this looking really good on deeper skin tones. I like how it looks on mine. Shows up more lavender, I think. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. I have the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in 951. It's by the I Love Sarai collection. It looks like this. I wanna see how it looks. It's pretty. I didn't know how this was gonna look with all of this on, but you know what? It's actually pulling in some of the gold, the gold tones that I have on my lid. So it actually, it, it looks really nice. I really like this. I'm gonna get in the light, that natural sunlight a little better so that you guys can really get a really good look of how this really looks, y'all. I hope you guys like this video. I know it's long AF and I'm sorry about that, but I really wanted to start using a lot of the products that I have and I wanted to show you guys some looks and be creative at the same time. So I hope you guys like this and enjoyed this. So I hope you guys are able to see because it's so bright from the sun that I can't really see. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave me a big thumbs up and share this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.